So, um, got up super early, washed and shampooed and all of that, and I am letting this wild hair of mine air dry. I have a couple of appointments today, including, sorry, I had to pull that out of my earring. I could feel that just, it was making me cuckoo. Um including an optometrist appointment. I have been noticing that I am having trouble reading very fine print on packaging and stuff like that. So I was doing the old yo-yo thing, you know, the trombone, playing the trombone, trying to get it into focus. And it's getting to the point now where I'm obviously having old AF sight problems because uh, I can I can hold it a little further away from instead of bringing it closer to my face I have to hold it further away from my face to be able to see it which is kind of funny because um, the last time I had an eye exam which has been a little bit ago I ain't gonna tell no lie um, I was told that I actually was nearsighted just a little bit um, but not enough that I would need to have glasses for it. So for the most part, my eyesight was still 20-20, but I was still kind of a little tiny bit off with further distances. So I can't wait to see exactly what they tell me today. Um, I am going in. Thankfully, the eye exam is free, provided that I, you know, if I need eyewear, then I don't have to pay for the eye exam. But if I don't have to have eyewear, which I'm thinking I may have since I'm having trouble reading little stuff, man, for those of y'all that don't know, I have my traguses pierced and it can be a beast whenever you're uh, dealing with wet hair or your hair down in general. But when it's really unruly like this, it gets tangled in the earrings really easily. Um, anyway, um, if... I'm feeling like I may end up having to have glasses, but, you know, I won't know till I get there. But the way that this uh, optometrist does things is, you know, they have a deal going where if you buy two pairs of eye, two pairs of eyewear, then um, the eye exam is free, which is fine. You know, I figured, okay, well, you know, I've been to this place before, you know, um, they'll be able to do a comparative between this one and the last time that I went to them. Um, and... You know, they can give me an idea as to whether or not I'm going to be walking around looking like a librarian soon. Fun times. So, in the meantime, it is super duper early. My first appointment that I have to go to is not until 11. So, I'm kind of sitting around waiting for this to air dry. Um, I, um, I got with my old hairdresser that was at the hometown, like near my hometown that I moved from and asked her specifically what um, info, sh t uh, the info on the auburn that we were putting on my hair because all of this up here has kind of turned like a purpley pink-ish type of color and it's kind of flat. And all this down here is all the stuff that she has been using on my hair for a while now and um, as you can see, it's still very rich. It's still very vibrant, you know, and I reached out to her and was like, can you please help me? Because I don't know what the deal is. I've been to two people and nobody can color match this and I need help because I can't drive three hours just to come have you do my hair. <laughs> I just can't, even though I really want to. Um, and she helped me out. So I've, I'm going to be getting all of this resolved. Um, so yeah, um, so I guess I'll take you guys with me along and along. We're gonna run some. We're gonna run some errands. We're gonna hit these appointments. We're gonna do some stuff, <laughs> and uh, just make a day of it. Let's go. Phase one, getting this her fixed. <laughs> we ain't even got started yet. 
I'm going to be here for probably about two hours, two and a half hours, give or take. It's a process, but it's worth it. Done at the hair salon. Um, it is much shorter. Took about two inches off of it. It is much lighter. And um, I took in that info from my old hair lady. And um, as you can probably tell, I mean, I'm a little, it's got a little bit of a purple hue to it at the moment, but that's because it's brand new. But the ends are matching up to the ba to the root color a lot better this go around than it did the last go around. Um, and even the hairstylist said so. She was like, I'm so glad you got that because, you know, I was kind of winging it the last time. Um, and uh, I have... I am about an hour early for my appointment. I was sitting here for my eye exam, and I was sitting here thinking about this. I had a little lady sitting across from me in the hair salon um, who asked me if I had alopecia. Mind you, <laughs> I had a hair kind of standing up everywhere, foils for days. I could have, I was wired for sound. I could have picked up TV channels. Um, and I asked her, uh, what she meant and she said, well, you don't really have any eyebrows. So I thought maybe you lost them because of alopecia. And I told him, I told her, uh, no, uh, they're just very blonde. So I have made the executive decision that I am going to dye them. And I know there's going to be some of you guys out there. They're going to be all like, oh my God, don't put that on your eyebrows. Okay. I, I have done it before. I, I know exactly what to do. I will be extremely, extremely careful. Um, but I got to do something because the eyebrow tinting, even though it is nice, it only lasts about two weeks, between two weeks and three weeks. Um, dyeing them will actually last a little longer than that. Um, and will probably give me a little bit more of a solid color, even as it fades. So, um... Yeah, y'all are going to get to do that with me today because, um, yeah, I got to fix this. I mean, this is not the first time I've had some little old person point out the fact that I don't, that they don't see no eyebrows on me. I actually had a nursing home patient years ago. Um, during the winter, I went in with a beanie cap on my head and uh, my hair was probably quite a bit shorter, about yay long. And I had it all pushed back under the beanie cap and she was fussing at me telling me to take the hat off because she said I look like a cancer patient and when I asked her why she said well you don't have any eyebrows when you're wearing a beanie cap you don't look you got any hair at all so um I, I am just I mean I can see them right now I know you guys can see them right now but that's just because you know natural light and everything but you can only really see them about half the time um so I'm just over it. I'm just, just something to give them a little bit of a hue, you know? Um, so that's going to be the next thing on my list after these people tell me that I need glasses because I have a feeling that I probably do. Um, but, uh, we'll see. And I'll probably let you guys know after. Um, but that's what's going on. On to the next thing. So you want to hear something a little irksome? I did get here early for my appointment, but not drastically early. I waited a while outside. I came in, completed my paperwork, and was told that I could either peruse the frames or I could come back to the waiting area. A guy came in after me, did his paperwork, came straight back to the waiting area. Do you know they pulled him before me? That's irritating. So I am in the testing room and the uh, pre-test didn't go so hot, especially with um, reading the eye chart with my left eye. Um, I have a feeling for sure that I'm probably going to have to have glasses um, and uh, yeah. Apparently it's going to be a minute before I actually see the optometrist. She's right in the middle of um, meeting with the guy that they brought in ahead of me. 
Um, so, yeah. Okay, so, as I figured, your girl's gotta have some glasses. What I didn't expect was how jacked up my vision was. Um, I have been 2020. Um, the last time I had my eye exam was been some years ago, probably four or five years ago. And um, my vision was still 2020 at that point. The only issue that I had was a very slight, slight deviation, you know, in far off vision. And I was told, you know, that if it got any worse that I would need glasses and that was pretty much it. Everything has been fine. Um, not anymore. <laughs> I've gotten to the point where this heifer has got to have bifocals, y'all. Okay. Um, and I, I used to work with a Filipino doctor. Um, name, his name was Adolfo. And he used to tell people all the time, you are getting the old. And I have officially caught the old. I am not a happy girl. Um, the idea of bifocals just sent me. Okay. And... I literally just paid an extra $400 so that I didn't have no bifocal line across my damn lenses. I am not fitting to look like no 60-year-old woman. I refuse. Worth the investment. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, not going to have to do that. Because apparently... My my distance vision has shifted enough now that I will have to have something for that. And now I have to have something for close up too. And based on what the optima, uh, optometrist, ophthalmologist, optometrist is telling me, um, more than likely it will probably get worse over the next couple of years. So, damn it. <laughs> That's all I can say. Um, I paid for them. Um, they're going to um, have them, they said, by the 7th. And then once I get them, um, they will be able to, I'll be able to come in and have them adjust them for me and everything. Um, so, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I knew my vision was off, but I didn't realize it was that bad. I mean, I, I am working with a 2040 instead of a 2020. Um, and it's mostly my left eye that's the problem, not the right. Um, so I guess until my glasses come in, I'm going to be doing a lot of, if I have to read something small, I'll be closing my eye and reading it with my right eye. <laughs> Oh my God. It sucks to get old y'all. Uh, it sucks to get old. Um, so yeah, now that I have done that, I have ripped the bandaid off. I have hurt my feelings. I am going to the store to pick up some things and then I'm going home. Um, and, uh, since it is still plenty early, I'm going to try to finish putting up the cover for my garbage can. So let's go.
Okay, my garbage can screen is done. Vast improvement over just having the garbage can just hanging out there. And it uh, kind of sort of gives a backdrop for my pumpkins. Um, I was thinking about shifting them over a little bit so that they're more, so that Jason's not up underneath the edge of the um, shrub. <laughs> we'll see. Hey gang, so editing me here, um, I, um, I'm going to close it out for today. Um, I still have yet to eat dinner and I am really, really desperate for some sleep. Um, when I said that I got up super early this morning, I wasn't joking. I, um, only got about four and a half, five hours of sleep. So despite all the ripping and running and keeping myself busy and everything, um, I am exhausted. <laughs> I am running on fumes. So the dyeing my eyebrows and some of the other stuff is, it's, that's carrying over to tomorrow. Um, I hope you guys had a great day. Um, despite the finding out that I'm a certified old heifer, um, it hasn't been a bad day. Um, and what I told my dad, because I talked to him about it, is that, you know, realistically, given my age and the fact that I don't have any health problems, you know, if this is the only thing that's wrong with me for a while, then I'm doing pretty good, you know. So I'm going to go to bed and I'm going to sleep on it and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. You have a good night. Bye, y'all.